Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have a CMS 10,000 uh, Grid Connect Inverter and this one is coming up with a fault on the screen and uh, at the moment it's completely blank as you can see there but um, I'm going to turn it on and we're going to make the, uh, the error come up but uh, I just wanted to show you it first and have a bit of a chat with you because it's uh, quite loud, it's, it uh, beeps quite loudly it comes up with a DC sensor error which I'm just going to turn on the the DC here <laughs> and you can hear the fan start up like a rocket ship it's about to take off and so this one as you can see there is coming up with DC sensor error press OK to clear so we'll press OK but pressing OK doesn't change anything so uh, Look, if you are ever having an error like this with your uh, CMS 10,000 inverter, I'd highly recommend that you try to uh, reboot the system. And to do that, it's always important that we follow the shutdown procedure. If we have a look down here, we can see the shutdown procedure. Uh, your one will usually be the same. Switch AC off, the solar supply main switch in the switchboard, which is just over here. So we'll just go over there. And here is the solar supply main switch there, so we'll just throw that off. and then switch DC off, PV ray switch next inverter. So in this case, we got three solar ray DC isolators, so we'll just turn them all off. And we'll wait to see what happens here, wait for that screen to clear. <laughs> Sound like it's gonna take off. <laughs> so wait for that shut, shut down completely. You can see the screen's gone completely blank and we'll try to restart the system. On restart it's not as important uh, which what you do first with the AC or the DC. In this case we'll turn off on the DC. And then the AC side of things. And we'll see what happens with the inverter. And in this case it still came up the DC sensor error. So unfortunately we've got an issue here. I'm just going to turn the system off. The solar supply main switch. Wait for that horrible noise to go away. Wait for it to take off. Okay, so if your inverter is doing something like this, where even after the uh, after going through the reboots uh, the startup procedure, it's still coming up with the same error code and fault code, then you've got an internal problem with the inverter in this case, and. Uh, Unfortunately, CMS are no longer around to honour any warranties, so it is going to be a case of we are going to have to replace this inverter. And we highly recommend the Fronius Simo uh, 10 inverter, which is a three-phase 10 kilowatt inverter, which uh, is a is a great uh, quality replacement inverter for this uh, CMS 10,000. Look, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland, don't hesitate to give Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions a call. We're here to help. Thanks very much.